These patients are being treated for multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. It's a form of the airborne disease that can't be treated by the two drugs normally used to cure it, rimfampicin and isoniazid. They're hoping the World Health Organization's decision to declare the disease a global public health crisis will lead to a solution, especially patients like Abubakar Lawal, who was taking normal anti-TB drugs for months. But the symptoms of the disease, coughing, fever and tiredness, didn't go away. Then his doctor realized he was resistant to the treatment. Abubakar has to spend eight months in isolation and another 20 on medication. It not, has not been easy. Like me, we are confined to one place for months, away from your family, your friends, your social activities. And uh, you are subjected to taking drugs every day, including injections. Drug-resistant TB is normally caused when TB is not diagnosed properly and not taking the normal drugs effectively. But there are not enough hospitals to treat tuberculosis that's resistant to the drugs that are normally used to cure it. At this hospital, there are only 20 beds for patients, with more than 4,000 new cases are being discovered in Nigeria every year. The government has opened three treatment centers in the last year to try and combat the disease. A lot uh, is being done by the government about uh, multidrug resistant tuberculosis, but the level of awareness in the community is very, very low. There are a lot of people in the community coughing, taking anti-tuberculosis drugs from uh, chemists, you know, patent medicine dealer. They take it haphazardly without the support of uh, the government or the health worker. But it's not enough. These people are being tested for the disease, but they'll have to wait a week for the results, by which time they may have infected other people, when the technology to get diagnosed within 24 hours exists. The solution to eradicating drug-resistant tuberculosis is to diagnose and treat tuberculosis fast. But it's going to be a major challenge. Only 36% of TB cases are detected in Nigeria, and over 60% of those are not being treated. Ivandege Al Jazeera, Zaria.